GDP is not, and it was never designed as, a measure of, of uh, national well-being. It's merely a measure of national income or economic activity. And uh, if you start using it as a, as a proxy for, uh, for national well-being, uh, you run into some serious conceptual problems. And it's becoming more and more recognized. And it's all these costs, the, the external costs of this economic growth, are now beginning to balance out uh, the, uh, the benefits. And we're not making any real progress in terms of welfare, even though we are expanding uh, our, our economic income. So we've been in a recession, not just since you know, 2000, 2008, but since 1975, a recession of, of, of quality of life, of real economic well-being. So we did a study a few years ago now uh, just asking that question, what's the benefit-cost ratio of society uh, investing, preserving, and expanding our natural capital? So the scenario we used was uh, if we expand our current global reserve network to include 15% of the terrestrial biosphere, 30% of the green biosphere, again, these are, this 15% this is really marginal land for farming or other uses. It's not, and so because of that, if you try to farm there, you're not going to get as, as big a return as you, do, as you would with the, the land that you already the cost of doing that was estimated to be about $45 billion a year. The benefits of doing that, the net difference between the, the value intact and the value converted, was about $45 billion, a trillion dollars a year. Uh, so the benefit cost ratio is about 100 to 1. It's a very good uh, investment. No better investment I could find in the US economy was uh, for oil companies investing in political campaigns. <laughs>